Welcome to the Yoga Studies Institute. My name is Christina, and I'm looking forward to leading you through a 15-minute vinyasa yoga practice to build heat from within, to shift prana in our body, and ultimately transform our state of mind. We will focus on relieving tension in our shoulders and hips, linking breath with movement to strengthen the body-mind connection. The goal of yoga is to become whole. A yogi that achieves this is said to find a place of total awareness known as kaivalya. This also refers to freedom. In today's class, we will be focusing on an important freedom achieved by yogis, financial abundance. Inner success is only possible once our outer needs are met. A yogi's needs are often minimal. However, their motivation is so huge, they can and will create vast amounts of wealth for the purpose of benefiting others. They know the basis for wealth is generosity. They give unstingingly, and they give especially when times are tough. When they think about creating wealth fast, they think about who best to give to, when to give it, the joyful state of mind in which they give, and how they conceive themselves and the person they are giving to. To quote Master Patanjali's Yoga Sutra, Chapter 3, Verse 25, the causes for reality and the person, however very distinct from one another these two may be, are no different. We experiencing them not because of something outside of ourselves, but as something from ourselves. Turn the combined effort upon this and you will understand the person. So the best wealth management strategy is generosity. Hold this in your heart as we move through our asana practice together today. Please find your way into an easy cross-legged seated position on your mat, rooting through your sit bones, reaching the crown of your head up toward the sky. Let's start with shrugging the shoulders up toward the ears. Take a big breath in. Exhale, roll the shoulders away from the ears and gently place your palms down in your lap, having the palms face up to receive more abundance and vitality in our practice or receive the palms down for more of a sense of grounding. And when you feel prepared, you can softly flutter the eyelids closed, taking a moment to contemplate and taking a moment to withdraw from the outer senses and begin to embark on this journey to the more subtle body and connect with our breathing. Observing the flow of air coming in through the nostrils and softly out through the nostrils or your mouth. Breathing in all the way into your belly, feel your belly inflate like a balloon and your ribs expand as your chest puffs up, melting your heart center open. And exhale, decompress, fully arriving and becoming present in this moment. You can continue breathing at this pace. And I'd like you to summon upon a time in the last 24 hours where you were genuinely kind and generous to someone. Imprinting your mind with this act of compassion and knowing that this will plant the seed of more of what you want to see blossom in your world. Creating this sense of inner wealth. and allowing us to bring the best versions of ourselves out into the world. Hold this deep within your heart today as we flow through these meditative movements. Begin to deepen your breath. With this strong and pure intention set, you can start to wiggle the fingers, eventually reach the arms long overhead, pressing the palms together to touch. Draw the hands down through heart center and flutter your eyes open. Beautiful. Bring your palms down close to the knees and we'll start with rolling the head very slowly in one direction. See if you can maintain this tall posture, finding dignity and integrity in your spine, maybe slightly hugging the ribs in, belly button comes toward the spine to protect your lower back and we move nice and slowly. Relieving some tension from the neck area where a lot of our stress can creep in. The next time your chin is in toward your chest, take a pause for a moment. Send your breath behind the back of the neck. 
and slowly reverse the roll in the opposite direction. Again, imagine like you're moving through this thick substance. So we're moving slowly. The crown of the head is leading the way. Your eyes can be softly open or closed and making sure you're breathing evenly and deeply. Okay, the next time you find your chin in toward your chest, take a pause for a moment. Lift the chin parallel to the earth, reach your arms out to the side, and then bring your left arm underneath your right. Holding the tops of your shoulders, drawing the elbows down in toward your chest. You can stay here or you can find an eagle wrap with the arms. Good, if you have the eagle wrap, really squeeze the arms together and then drop and melt the shoulders away from the earlobes. You can hollow it at the belly, let your chin fall in toward your chest and take two rounds of breath, breathing into the back of the heart space. Always keeping in the front of your mind your intentions of creating abundance into your life. The best way to do this is to be more giving and generous to yourself as well. Inhale, unravel the arms, open up your chest. Imagine like you're giving somebody this big hug. Exhale, bring right arm underneath the left. Same thing, opposite side. You can bring the palms on top of the shoulders or find the eagle wrap, pressing the tops of the hands or the palms of the hands together, dropping the elbows down, slight hollow of the belly, letting your chin fall in toward your chest, bowing into yourself for two big breaths. Really letting the inhales expand and invite in a sense of spaciousness and the exhales to soften and relax. You can slowly unravel the arms and let's come into child's pose on the mat, bringing big toes together to touch, knees about as wide as the mat, reach your fingertips forward. And in this posture, as your hips are reaching back, Tent the fingertips so your elbows can come off of the mat and then look forward. So we're getting a stretch underneath the arms, mid back area. Staying here for one more breath and then crawl the fingers over toward the right side. Place the right palm flat down, left hand on top. Take a big breath into the left rib cage. Exhale, soften and release, dropping the forehead down, taking two big breaths here. Good. Tenting the fingertips, walking through center with the fingertips over now to the left side. Place your left palm down, right hand on top, take a big breath in. Exhale, relax and soften into this posture. Maybe contemplating a moment where somebody else was generous to you. This is also imprinting your mind or even if you've noticed an act of generosity someone else gave to another person. You can come back into tabletop position, bring your knees underneath your hips, tuck the toes, activate the belly button toward the spine as we begin to lift the hips into the sky for downward facing dog. Give your head a shake, yes and no. Lift your heels, stretching out the feet. Good, and then drop one heel down at a time, pedaling out the feet. Beautiful. And find a place of stillness, drawing your heels down toward the earth. It's okay if they're a little bit lifted, maybe bending the knees slightly, especially if the legs are feeling tight. Let's inhale and lift right heel up and then exhale, yawn the hip open by bending the right knee. Find even weight in both palms. Good, releasing any stressors here. You can start to circle out the right knee, opening up your hip flexors. Good, letting go of what no longer serves you. Maybe straightening the right leg again, and then bend the knee, look forward, take a big step through both hands, finding a low lunge. You can gently bring the left knee down, point the left toes, and let's inhale, reach the arms alongside the ears for Anjaneyasana. If your shoulders are feeling really tight, you can come into cactus arms. This is a nice way to keep the heart center open. Always coming back to your intention of practice as well. Maybe connecting with the reason that you felt inspired to take this class today. <sighs> connecting with those feelings 
of generosity, maybe even thinking of something you can do off the mat today to infuse more financial abundance into your life. One more breath here. Exhale, bring your palms down. Straighten the front leg, finding half Hanumanasana. You can keep a soft bend in the right knee, maybe bringing the fingertips a little bit closer to you. Take a big breath in, lift your heart. Exhale, drape yourself over the front leg. We'll spend three breaths here. Maybe relax the forehead down. Sometimes when we're feeling a little bit stressed, we scrunch up the face and the shoulders come toward the ears. So see where you can soften and relax in the body here. Coming into this internal place of stillness, using your breath, crawling back up to a low lunge, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, and step back to high plank. Bend the knees slightly as you lift the hips high into the air, and we'll spend three rounds of breath in our downward facing dog. Feel your hips reaching toward the sky, widening the sit bones, maybe shaking the head a little bit. And we'll do that on the opposite side. Inhale, lift the left heel up. Exhale, yawn the hip open by bending the left knee, dropping the left shoulder down and start to draw those nice big circles with the left knee. Going both directions. And then straightening the leg. Inhale, look forward and take a big step in between the hands. Low lunge, maybe slide the right toes back so we get a little bit more space in the hips before gently, softly bringing the right knee down, point the right toes, inhale, rise the arms alongside the ears for Anjaneyasana, opposite side. Pressing into your left big toe and the top of the right foot, reaching the arms up and exhale, maybe sinking your hips forward and down. You can squeeze the right glute. We're gonna stay here for three rounds of breath. Anytime something feels challenging, Always come back to that place of compassion for yourself and for others and remember your intentions of this practice. Good. Bring your fingertips down alongside your body on the mat. Straighten the left leg, flex the left toes toward your face. Breathe in to lift the heart. Exhale, soften over the front extended leg keeping that soft or deep bend in the left knee, depending on if your hamstrings feel really tight, you might wanna bend the knee a little more and then relax your forehead. Can you even lift the corners of your lips into this soft inner knowing smile, feeling good about these joyful efforts you're applying into your practice today? Even envisioning the financial abundance that could come into your life if you continue these joyful efforts. Come back to low lunge, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, step the left foot to meet the right, high plank, and then lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Nice work, we'll take three breaths here. Big inhales through the nose, exhale through the nose. Good, and now bring the knees gently down. Big toes come together to touch, knees as wide as the mat, finding Balasana, child's pose, this time relaxing forehead on the mat, really reaching the fingertips forward as you reach your sit bones back, maybe rub the forehead a little side to side, massaging the third eye. You can bring the palms together to touch and bend the elbows, bringing prayer behind the head. If you want to deepen this stretch. You can walk the elbows a little bit closer toward the top of the mat and then relax down. Beautiful. Reach the fingertips forward. Walk the hands underneath the shoulders, lifting yourself up gently, guiding the knees toward one another. Come into Virasana, hero's pose. Closing the eyes down, bringing thumb and index finger together to touch. Just observing this inner landscape in this brief amount of time that we've spent together, do you feel even slightly different than you did at the beginning of practice? And understand that it doesn't take these intense efforts. Sometimes you can just find this quick practice to remind yourself of what's most important to you. Finding this freedom 
from any financial stressors in your life and the freedom to create more abundance in your life through acts of generosity and kindness. Let that be what you carry with you into the rest of your day, the rest of your week and beyond. Flutter your eyes open and relax. Thank you so much for joining me in this 15 minute vinyasa practice to develop more financial abundance in your life. My name is Christina, and I really look forward to seeing you again on the mat soon. Have an awesome day.